So thank you everyone for coming tonight. And we'll just take a minute and set our motivation. Reconnect with Bodhicitta. And then think that the merit field is here. And LC two. Oh, 
Oh, 
Rama, Jinge Nange Lange Boneso, Zedon Yume Jayam Yambo, Ridra Lange Dewe Eshe, Chagoranji and Rodan Drawe.
page 15. <laughs>
Verses 63 to 67, two more times. Oh, 
Kulam Jeshin Shepa Tam Shedang Bhavo Dani Nadromai Kadro Dani Kadro Mai Kulma Dani Sova Dewa Chula Gepe Heru Ka Dewa Rab No Mahan Jin Jin He Chuka Jin Du Lo Chuka In He Lam Ke Dewa Chua La Jus No Bless and offer the leftover song with verses 76 and 77. And then as we play music throughout verses 78 um, to 82, keep reciting. <laughs> Om Dugyo Gyan Zon 
LC 83 in English. By the force of this bountiful giving, may I become a self-made Buddha for the sake of beings, and by my generosity, may I liberate not liberated by previous Buddhas. Through the power of having made offerings and respectful requests to you, holy and perfect pure Guru, supreme field of merit, I seek your blessings, saviors and root of well-being and bliss, that I may come under your joyful care. Realizing how this body of liberties and endowments is found but once is difficult to obtain and is quickly lost, I seek your blessings to make it worthwhile and take its essence without being distracted by the meaningless affairs of this life. Aghast at the searing blaze of suffering in the lower realms, I take heartfelt refuge in the three precious gems, and seek your blessings that I may eagerly strive to abandon all negativities and accomplish the accumulation of every virtue. Violently tossed amidst waves of karma and mental afflictions, plagued by the many sea monsters of the three kinds of suffering, I seek your blessings to develop an intense longing to be liberated from this infinite and frightening great ocean of existence. Having abandoned the mind that views this unbearable prison of cyclic existence as a pleasure grove, I seek your blessings to hold the three trainings as the treasure of the superior's wealth and thereby to uphold liberation's banner. Having considered how all these pitiful beings have been my mothers and have raised kindness again and again, I seek your blessings to develop unaffected compassion like that of a loving mother for her precious child. There is no difference between ourselves and others. None of us wishes for even the slightest of sufferings or is ever content with the happiness we have. Realizing this, we seek your blessings that we may enhance the bliss and joy of others. This chronic disease of cherishing ourselves is the cause giving rise to unsought suffering. Perceiving this, I seek your blessings to blame the grudge and destroy the monstrous demon of selfishness. The mind that cherishes all mother beings and would secure them in bliss is the gateway leading to infinite virtue. Seeing this, I seek your blessings to cherish these beings more than my life, even should they rise up as my enemies. In brief, infantile beings labor only for their own ends, while Buddhas work solely for the welfare of others. With the mind understanding the distinctions between the failings of one and the advantages of the other, I seek your blessings to enable me to equalize and exchange myself with others, since cherishing myself is the doorway to all, while cherishing my mothers is the foundation of all that is good, I seek your blessings to make my core practice the yoga of exchanging self for others. Page 91. And thus, perfect, pure, compassionate gurus, I seek your blessing that all karmic deaths, obstacles, and sufferings of mother beings may without exception ripen upon me right now, and that I may give my happiness and virtue to others and thereby invest all beings in... And thus, perfect, pure, compassionate gurus, I seek your blessings that all karmic deaths, obstacles, and sufferings of mother may without exception ripen upon me right now, and that I may give my happiness and virtue to others and thereby invest all beings in bliss. And thus, perfect, pure, compassionate gurus, I seek your blessings at all karmic debts, obstacles, and sufferings of mother 
may without exception ripen upon me right now, and that I may give my happiness and virtue to others, and thereby invest all beings in bliss. Should even my environment and the beings therein be filled with the fruits of the negative actions, and on wash for sufferings poured down on me like I seek your blessings to take these miserable conditions by seeing them as causes to exhaust the results of my negative karma. In short, no matter what appearances arise, be they good or bad, I seek your blessings to transform them into a path ever enhancing the two bodhicittas through the practice of the five forces, the quintessence of the entire, and thus to enjoy solely a blissful mind. Whatever I occasion to need, I seek your blessings that I may adapt it to my meditation by the skillful means of the four applications. May I render this life of liberties and endowments infinitely meaningful by practicing the advice and commitments of thought training. In order to rescue all beings from the vast seas of existence, I seek your blessings to become a dead and bodhicitta through a pure self as well as by love and compassion conjoined with the visual technique of mounting, giving, and taking upon the breath. I seek your blessings that I may eagerly endeavor to put into practice the three Mahayana moral and to restrain my mind stream with pure bodhisattva, the single path journeyed by all the victorious ones of the three times. I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of generosity through the guideline teaching of enhancing the mind that gives without it, namely transforming my body, wealth, and collection of virtues over the three times into the objects desired by each and every sentient being. I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of moral discipline, working for the sake and not transgressing the bounds of the Pratamoksha, Bodhicitta, and Tantric vows, even at the cost of my Should even the myriad beings of the three realms without exception become angry at me, humiliate, criticize, threaten, or even I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of patience, not to be distraught, but to work for their benefit in response to their harm. Even if I must remain for an ocean of eons in the fiery hells of Avicii for the sake of even one sentient, I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of joyous effort, to strive with compassion for supreme enlightenment and not be discouraged. Having abandoned the faults of dullness, agitation, and mental wandering, I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of meditative concentration through the samadhi of single-pointed placement upon the nature of reality, which is that all things are void of true existence. I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of wisdom through the space-like yoga of single-pointed placement upon ultimate truth, conjoined with the tranquility and great bliss induced by the discriminating wisdom analyzing suchness. I seek your blessings to perfect samadhi on illusion by realizing all outer and inner phenomena lack true existence, but still like a mirage, a dream, or the moon's image on a still lake, samsara and nirvana like even an atom of true existence, while cause and effect and dependent arising are infallible. I seek your blessings to discern the import of Nagajuna's thought that these two are complementary and not contradictory. And thereupon, I seek your blessings that I may cross the ocean of through the kindness of my navigator, Vajadara, by holding my vows and words of honor to roots of all powerful attainments more dear than my life. I seek your blessings to cleanse all stains of ordinary appearance and grasping through the first stage yoga of transforming birth, death, and the bar which are the three bodies, so that whatever appears may arise as a deity. I seek your blessings to actualize in this life the path of unity, of clear light, of illusory that arises from placing your feet, my savior, at the eight petals of my heart, at the very center of my central. Should I have not completed the points of the path at the time of death, I seek your blessings that I may be led to a pure land, either through the instructions of applying the five forces or the forceful means to enlightenment the Guru's transference of mind. In short, I seek your blessings, my savior, to be cared for by you from birth unremittingly throughout all my, and thus to become your chief disciple, holding every secret of your body, speech, and Savior, please grant that all be auspicious for me to be foremost among your very first circle of disciples wherever you manifest, so that all my temporal and ultimate wishes, without exception, may be effortlessly and spontaneously fulfilled.
Whatever wide virtues I have thus created, I dedicate as causes enabling me to uphold the holy dharma of scriptures and insights and to fulfill without exception the prayers and deeds of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the three By the force of this merit, may I never be parted in all my lives from Mahayana's force. And may I reach the end of my journey along the paths of renunciation, bodhicitta, pure view, and the two. Sijinam Kajian Egan Sangi Adian Dimi Gulabai Gulandel Dayan Egan Nadu Gilenam Gazor Ponsadel recite the community dedications and you can also think of any dedications that you have for your practice for the world Due to the merits accumulated during the three times by myself and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, which are empty from their own, May the eye, who is empty from its own side, achieve the state of enlightenment, which is empty from its own, and lead all sentient beings who are empty from their own side to that state as quickly as possible by myself alone, due to the merits of the three times created by myself and others and by the Buddhas and Bodhis. May I, my family members, all the students and benefactors of the organization and all sentient beings be able to meet perfectly qualified Mahayana virtuous in all our future lives. From our side, may we always see them as enlightened and always perform only actions most pleasing to their holy minds. May we always fulfill their holy wishes instantly. A long life prayer for his holiness. Gari rawe go e jing kam dia pentan de wa malu a jung we chen rezi wan ten zing as no he shape si te badu a ten kyu 